In this tutorial, we'll configure our SAML single sign-on app together with Okta and manual provisioning. With manual permissioning, we mean the user already exists in your Atlassian application. So it might have been getting in there via LDAP synchronization, manually creating it, doesn't really matter, it's already there. So what we need to do is we essentially um, start in our SAML wizard, then go over to Okta to um, create an um, endpoint for the SAML authentication, and then go back to our app in, uh, in your Atlassian application and uh, finish off the configuration and test it as well. I've already installed our SAML plugin, so let's go to SAML single sign-on. And when we go there for the first time, it'll show our new start wizard. And by the way, guys, if you get stuck somewhere or your situation is slightly different to what we cover in those step-by-step -step guides and tutorials, then feel free to reach out to us, either via the support portal or by um, creating a screen share session with us and the screen share session in particular is pretty great to discuss any particular requirements or to guide you through um, your configuration um, with us on the other end. Let's go to uh, add new IDP. Now we can choose our identity provider, that's Okta in this case, and you see we've already covered most of the popular identity providers and done a lot of pre-configuration there. Here you also find the link to the step-by-step um, -step documentation in our website and let's go to next now. So here the plugin gives us all the URLs that we need to finish the configuration of the Okta SAML um, app so that we have an endpoint for authentication within Okta. I'm going to copy the single sign-on URL here and now we'll move over to um, Okta to start the configuration there. So. I'm logged into Okta here. Um, let's make sure um, I do that as an admin. To get to the admin portal. And now we need to go to applications. Create app integration. It's going to be a SAML 2.0 app. Let's say next. We need to give it a name. I'm going to just see a demo um, Jira. Give it a good name because that's the name of the app um, that your users will see on their dashboard. So it also makes sense to upload a sensible logo um, that works for you. Let's go to next. And now you see we need the sign on URL here. Also the SP entity ID, we paste the same thing. Um, and that's mostly it. Everything else we can pretty much um, leave on default here and let's go to next. Now it always wants us to fill in a survey. Um, I'm a customer creating an internal app and let's say finish. And now we get into the app configuration dialog. Um, one thing we need to do here is copy this link with the identity provider metadata. The metadata is a simple way to exchange information or load information from the um, IDP. Um, and our plugin can do that so that you don't have to do a lot of cut and paste. Let's copy link address. Um, and now the last thing we need to do here is assignments. So I'm going to go to assign. An assignment means who can see this app and can use this integration. Um, I'm going to do that on the group everyone here. Oh, sorry, I need to do assign here to groups. Let's say everyone which means then everyone in the organization can see this app and can use SAML to sign in. The actual who can use your Jira, for example, you control via the uh, groups in Jira and the application access there. This is more what's being displayed on the Okta dashboard and who can um, uh, use this SAML integration. So we're done on the Okta side now um, and let's go back to um, our plugin to finish off here. Go to next. You can say I have a metadata URL and I can paste the URL collected, say import. And you see metadata import was successful, so we can go to next here. Here the plugin asks us if the um, user ID um, fits the ID being sent from um, the identity provider, in that case Okta. 
So um, basically, um, if that's the case, your usernames on Okta are exactly the same as in um, Jira, then you can just leave this here as it is. Just to mention it, if not, you can see there's a lot of options um, to modify them. Um, for example, drop the domain name or do a lookup via the email address instead of, um, of uh, using the username. So there's a lot you can configure here. Um, and that's what I mean. Reach out to us if you get stuck or your situation doesn't quite fit this step-by-step um, -step tutorial. So, but for our case, the usernames are the same, so I'll keep it simple. Let's go to next then. Here the plugin wants to know if we want to use any provisioning features of the plugin. Um, for this manual provisioning um, tutorial, we don't. Um, but you have the choice of just-in-time provisioning and also user sync. So if you need your users created, uh, then look at one of the other step-by-step -step guides and tutorials that we provide. Now we can say save and next. Here we can now test our settings um, if the integration is successful. So let's click on start. And that creates what we call an authentication tracker. An authentication tracker is something that keeps all the information about an authentication together um, so that it helps us with um, troubleshooting and see what's going on. Um, the test function here has created a special URL which I can copy here. And then I open that in an incognito window um, that will redirect me to Okta for login. And then I can go back to the plugin to see the results as well. So let's do that. Let's paste the URL here. Now you see we get to the instance, get redirected to Okta where it wants to know my username. So I'm now successfully logged into Okta and you see it redirects me back to the um, Jira instance where I should see the first start wizard because that's the first time I log in with that user. So I'm successfully logged in. But let's go back to our instance itself. You now see the results in the authentication tracker here as well. You see success, but you also see um, um, debug messages down to the login information, what we extracted from the SAML response, um, the SAML messages. So you can see there's a lot of information here. And if this um, test wouldn't have been successful, you also have a, the possibility to download this tracker and look at it in more detail, but also you have the contact support button where you can open a support request in our portal straight with this tracker and all the information um, attached to it um, so that we can hopefully help you straight away in um, where things are going wrong. But this has been a success, so let's go to next which is the last page of our wizard. Um, so far, nothing we have done has interfered with um, users' login. So you see we had the special URL to get redirected and um, do the test. If you now want that every user gets redirected to Okta for login, you can just um, select Enable SSO Redirect and then Save and Close. Um, if you're not quite ready to do that um, right now because you want to do it in a maintenance window or inform your users first, then leave this box unchecked, say safe and close. You can always enable it later on in the uh, um, redirection section of the plugin um, uh, at a later date. Let's say safe and close here. And we're essentially done. Like I said, really, if you get stuck here, have some questions, um, if your situation is not quite the same because you might have to migrate users or something, then reach out to us. You have. Um, a lot of um, the contact support buttons here. You have the um, uh, chat widget on our website and you also have uh, the possibility to book free screen shares. So we're really here for you and we enjoy helping you. So please take, uh, take us up on it. Thanks guys.